All right, investigate EFM investigation 2.5, relationship between mass and weight. This is our corrected data table graph and claim. So the purpose of this investigation was to explore the relationship between mass and weight. In your data table, and I know this was a different data table than what you've been used to, we start with the number of washers. And again, we have to keep organized the number of washers does not help us determine the relationship between mass and weight, but we do need this in our data table, again, for organization, but this is not what we graph. Number of washers does not add to the relationship between mass and weight. Now we have the mass, which is our independent variable, but the scale that we used, in the, as you saw in the video, measures in grams. So we recorded, as we added the number of washers, we would record the increase in mass. We then had you convert mass to kilograms because this is the recognized unit for mass. Therefore, mass in kilograms is your independent variable for your graph. Followed by weight, which was our results, which means weight is our dependent variable, kind of like in our title, mass and weight. Mass is what we were changing, therefore it was our independent variable, and weight was our dependent variable. So our graph should have been a line graph because we're seeking a relationship, we're looking for a trend, and you had two sets of numbers. So definitely a line graph, and you should have used the video, um, to help you make the line graph. Y in Excel, clicking line didn't work. You had to go to um, the other options that I'm not sure of, but our title, again, is your IV versus your DV, which was mass versus weight. Your dependent variable was weight, and you have to have the capital N in Newtons. And then for mass, you should have used the kilogram unit. So please make sure you make any corrections to the graph. Claim, so there was no trick, it was one sentence. You didn't have to support it with anything. All you had to do was write a claim. And our claim is something as simple as, as the mass of the washers increased, weight increased. The explanation, weight is proportional to mass. So even though weight and mass are not the same thing, weight is affected due to gravity, mass is not. Your claim should not be defining what mass and weight are. You have to state a claim based on the investigation, which was the mass of the washers increased, weight also increased. You can even see on your line graph there's a positive slope, therefore the trend is positive.